The city of Urbandale's Parks and Recreation Department is raising money to help reforest its parks following an EF1 tornado that caused substantial damage just last week. Our Griffin Wright joins us live from North Karen Acres Park with a look at the damage and how you can help. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Justin. So North Karen Acres was right in the path of the tornado, uh, tearing down trees, some that were 50 years old, and it's one of five Urbandale parks that received damage from that storm tearing holes in the parks and trails shady canopy. You can see the map here of those five parks that were damaged by the tornado. That's North Karen Acres Park, South Karen Acres Park, also known as Rick Bulls Park, Gulf View Park, Rockland Park, and Walker Johnson Park. Luckily, they didn't take much structural damage. It was mainly trees that uh, were knocked down by the tornado, but unfortunately, trees aren't covered by insurance, which is why Urban Hill Parks and Recreation is looking for the public's help. The shade trees provide is an important part of the Parks and Recreation trail system. We've lost a lot of trees over the last few years. Derecho, uh, the emerald ash borer is affecting us, and then we've had several storm events that we've just lost a lot of trees. Um, and as property owners probably know, trees don't get replaced with insurance, so we have to find funding sources to replace those trees, and it can take a while to uh, you know, identify those sources. We do have some funds available, but this is just a, a big devastating thing that we're hoping people might be willing to help out with to try and get these canopies reestablished. Now it takes a long time to grow a new tree canopy, so to help them get started, you can go to uh, the Parks and Rec website, which is on your screen right now. All right, a lot to be done. Very important there to replace that canopy and for people to continue to enjoy some special memories with their families at those Urbandale parks. Thank you, Griffin Wright, reporting live from Urbandale.